Coppin State and George Mason. The George Mason Patriots suddenly playing good basketball. Both of these teams have been active. They've already played a game like earlier this week, a couple of days ago. They're going to get one more in. It is a matinee game uh, today. Uh, George Mason lane 12, the total 146 and a half. Kyle Hunter, I'm going to come to you first for a thought or two, if no official play, on some matinee Friday basketball just before Christmas weekend. August 287th. Coppin State really a weak rebounding team, 357th in defensive rebounding. I think that'll be an issue here. Mason should control the glass. Coppin coming off that double OT win just a couple days ago where I think you guys probably heard the same, like they didn't have refs at the game and they had to wait for 45 minutes afterwards. And uh, they implied afterwards they were just kind of looking for refs for the game, the weird stuff. Uh, so I, in this one, Coppin State comes in as the team that's not nearly as well rested. Uh, the total is edged down here. I would kind of lean over at this point, thinking that Coppin State's uh, tempo and their lack of defensive rebounding, Mason will be able to score quite a few points. As far as the side, I don't think I could bet Coppin State because they're not in a great situation, but uh, Mason, not really a team that I love to lay a lot of points with either. Okay. Uh, Matty Cox, uh, we'll get a couple of thoughts from you here on this matinee game with the George Mason Patriots playing a little better basketball as of late. Yeah, I do lean George Mason here. I think they have a favorable matchup, and I think the spot is pretty clearly um, in their favor. But Coppin State has been no stranger to tough spots. I mean, ever since Juan Dixon stepped over there, they've played a brutal by-game schedule, um, and they consistently compete against top-end competition um, in really brutal situations, be it one day, two days rest versus a team who's been off for a week or whatever. That just seems like they do that like clockwork, and I'm not looking to get in the way of, uh, of a team with that kind of DNA, uh, especially when we've seen so many favorites the last few days, this anecdotally really sleepwalk um, in these spots. So while I think it could be a Mason smash, I'm not looking to, to lay it here. And again, the game with Old Dominion on Wednesday, Old Dominion won on a last second layup, beating them by one. George Mason had won five in a row before that. So again, no official play in game number one in George Mason and Coppin State. And again, that is a four Eastern time game that will be coming up.